In a previous video, I broke down how water-based tire shines work, and even showed how to make a basic DIY version. As expected though, without the commercial grade emulsifiers and machinery, that mixture broke apart in minutes. But that was the point, to understand the basics. Today we're shifting gears, we're diving into solvent-based tire shines, what they are, how they work, and I'll even show you a simple demonstration of how silicone oil dissolves into a solvent. But before we get hands-on, let's talk about what's actually going on behind the scenes. Here's something that often gets misunderstood. Whether it's water-based or solvent-based, neither water nor solvent actually produces the shine. They're just carriers, delivery systems that help spread the active shining ingredient, which in most cases is silicone oil. So when we talk about water-based or solvent-based tire shine, we're not talking about what makes it glossy. We're talking about how the glossy ingredient is delivered. One of the key ingredients found in many tire shine formulas is silicone oil. Now, this isn't the same as the silicone sealant you'd find at the hardware store that cures into rubber. The version used in detailing products is a clear, oily liquid, inert, chemically stable, and non-reactive. It's ideal for enhancing surface gloss, improving water resistance, and leaving that sleek, deep black finish on your tires. In solvent-based formulas, the silicone oil needs something to help it spread. That's where petroleum distillates come in. These are liquid hydrocarbons derived from refining crude oil. Think VMNP, naphtha, mineral spirits, or paint thinner. They're all examples. For this demo, I'm using an off-the-shelf solvent just to show how silicone dissolves. A quick stir and you'll see that the silicone oil completely blends into the solvent. But, and this is important, I don't recommend you make or use this yourself. These store-bought solvents can be harsh. They're not designed for use on rubber and can actually cause browning, drying, or even degrade the tire over time. Back in the day, many tire shines were solvent-based and used very aggressive solvents. That's what gave tire shines their bad reputation. And since most of them also contain silicone, people mistakenly blame the silicone, when in fact, silicone is safe. It's the solvent that matters. To show the result, I'm applying this mix to the base of my outdoor basketball hoop, not my tires. While the solvent will mostly evaporate before doing damage, I want to keep my tires in perfect condition for future reviews. After about 30 minutes, the solvent has fully evaporated, probably much sooner. And what's left is just the silicone oil, giving the surface that slick, reflective look. Today's commercial solvent-based tire shines are much safer. Brands use specially formulated solvents that are optimized to evaporate quickly, dissolve silicone efficiently, and most importantly, won't damage rubber over time. If you found this video helpful, feel free to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. In the next video, I'll be comparing water-based and solvent-based tire shines side by side to finally answer the question, which one really performs better? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.